Hi, how's it going? This is Isaac Mascara. I am the CTO of Armory. And today I'm going to show you a multi-cloud deployment using Spinnaker. Um, so let's get started. So the pipeline first starts and, and you can configure it to be kicked off by a number of different methodologies uh, like cron, a Docker registry, somebody making a git commit. Today we're just going to do a Jenkins uh, deployment. So once this package gets built inside of Jenkins, we're going to distribute that package to both AWS and GCP. And this simple hello world application that we have is just a web application that starts up on port 8080 and shows you uh, our logo as well as any environment variables that will be on the machine. Uh, so before we get started, I'm going to show you what it's like to configure an actual deployment. Um, so let's go here to deploy to prod. So uh, I haven't actually configured in a, a, a deployment group here or a server group, so let's select Amazon. Now, I've already configured the Google Cloud uh, deployment. You can also have uh, Kubernetes, OpenStack, Cloud Foundry as deployment targets. Uh, today, we're going to just do one with Amazon, um, and setting it up for GCP is also very similar. Uh, we're going to select the previous template that we've created before. Uh, we're going to change this to be prod AWS. Uh, instead of stage and we're also able to select a deployment strategy so there's a few here uh, one of them being red black or also known as uh, blue green we're going to select to leave uh, two server groups behind let's see if the so we're going to choose our production uh, load balancer here and we're going to click add um, so now we're going to kick off the pipeline and this is going to go through and deploy a new version of our application uh, to stage, um, wait for us to have a manual judgment, meaning we're going to look at it and see if uh, our deployment is good or not before moving to prod. So we're back. We've kicked off our deployment pipeline. The first step is to bake an image on both Amazon and GCP, as discussed earlier. Uh, the next step is to just deploy to a staging environment on both, uh, on both AWS and GCP. Again, the base uh, application is still the same Java application uh, that we created inside of our Jenkins uh, pipeline or our Jenkins uh, build server, and you can see that here. So this is completed, um, and this is what ultimately kicked off our, our pipeline inside of Spinnaker. Uh, again, uh, you can see that it's just creating this, this Java application. This is all built with Gradle. Uh, creates a Debian uh, to install onto a Linux machine. So right now we're just waiting for uh, uh, GCP and a Amazon to spin up their machines. We're waiting for uh, responses uh, uh, for both Amazon and AWS. You can see that instances are being created and it's waiting for a response from those servers. So let's take a look at the cluster view of Spinnaker and you can see here uh, the clusters that are being spun up or the servers that are being spun up. We previously deployed version number five uh, to uh, AWS on stage. And you can see that it's AWS by clicking here and looking at the, um, the, the instance information. You know that it's in US West 2. Um, it's got this uh, AMI ID uh, and it's attached to a particular load balancer. And then you see a whole bunch of uh, private and public DNS information. The new one is still being spun up and it's waiting for its health to come back uh, positive. If we look back on the stage deployment to GCP, we have uh, very similar information. The instance is also being wait, uh, is waiting to be spun up. You see that it's in your Google account in US Central 1F um, and it's going through this standard deployment process. Uh, we get an external IP. So if we were to click on this uh, and go, it opens up a new browser. And we're able to see, let's see here, that our Java application is indeed running, and it did respond back with uh, with a uh, actual uh, uh, screen. So we're going to wait for this stuff to spin up, and then we're going to move on to our next step. Hey, and now we're back. We're looking at um, the deployment to AWS and GCP in production. Uh, GCP has already completed, and now we're just waiting for the production deployment to AWS. Uh, you're looking at the pipeline view, but let's take a look at the existing clusters and the instances that are being brought up. 
So right now, this was brought up for uh, uh, stage on Amazon. Uh, here's production on Amazon. The instance is red because it hasn't uh, been fully initialized and it's not accepting traffic yet, uh, but it will be soon. Once that turns green, we will disable the previous version, which is uh, version zero here. Um, if we want to take a look at the application, we can go look at our load balancers. So we also set up production load balancers. You can set them up for Amazon GCP. I also have Kubernetes configured, but again, uh, it supports OpenStack, uh, Azure, and other cloud services. So let's take a look at the service I've deployed. So I'm just going to click here. And we're able to, so it's still waiting for this uh, service to come up. And once this is ready, um, then the service will become available for us. Uh, for stage, it should be there as well as you see there. And now we're waiting for GCP production. Let's see where the status is. So in all the steps inside of Spinnaker, you can see detailed uh, steps as to what it's doing behind the scenes. So it deployed to US West 2. We're now disabling the previous cluster because the previous uh, deployment succeeded. Uh, so we're just waiting for this cluster to be disabled. And once that's disabled, uh, it should be uh, all done. It should be all green. So we're back. We see that the entire pipeline deployed correctly. Prod Amazon is all green. Uh, prod uh, GCP is also all green. We can take a look at what was deployed. One instance was deployed uh, in production. We can see the external IP address. Let's go to it and see how it looks. Uh, here's our application. It was brought up. We can also take a look at production uh, Amazon as well. So let's see here. We're going to look at this particular instance. Here's our public DNS name. We're going to click on that change the port there. And you see the cloud environment uh, uh, variables have been passed through. Uh, it tells us that it's prod Amazon. It's in this region uh, with this version number of our instance and uh, deployment. Uh, it all the way, it always goes back and it shows you a whole bunch of different information as to what actually was deployed. Uh, and this is just really helpful if you ever need to uh, debug any problems uh, that you might have with your particular instance. Um, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching and uh, talk to you guys soon.